Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today we have another review on a, on a foundation and this one is affordable. It is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation and it says medium to full coverage. They also have the Conceal and Define I think it's called and that one was okay for me. It seemed like it always like went into my fine lines and stuff so it didn't look super good on my skin. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. And I think it has the same, oh. Wow. The one I bought is broken. <laughs> Great. So we're just gonna have to make that work. And they also came out with the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer, which also has the big doe foot applicator. So I'm really excited to give this a try. And I think, let me see. Okay, so I think it comes in 16 shades, as well as the concealer comes in 16 shades. So it's like okay of a shade range. I want to clean my hair back with these graceless little pins. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Pore Blur Blur and prime. the Primer by Makeup Revolution. I used this the other day and wow guys, this blur of my pores so good. I think it's almost just as good as my Tarte one. That's how impressed I was by it. I was like, wow, this could be a dupe. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to push this to my pores. It is so smoothing, like it just instantly smooths everything out. I really enjoyed this the other day when I used it. Okay, and then all over the face, you guys know, no Hydra Grip. I can always count on this for the longevity of my foundation. We're gonna let that sit for a second. Okay, so for the foundation, I got F9.5. And like I said, this was broken. So we're gonna have to make this work. So what I'm going to do is actually pour a little bit back of my hand. Okay, so as always, we're gonna go one side brush, one side sponge. So with the sponge, my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Oh yeah, this is definitely medium full coverage. Wow. I was not expecting that for a hydrating foundation. That's crazy. It looks so healthy. So I think this matches pretty good because we are matching my face to my neck. Okay, now we're going to go on with the brush. Oh well. Wow. Okay. So with the brush, you're going to get full coverage. A little goes a long way with the brush. I covered my whole face in more. Okay. Wow. I was not expecting that at all. So it's definitely hydrating and luminous looking. And definitely medium full coverage. More full coverage on this side. This is definitely medium full coverage. So I'm going to go over with my sponge on this side, just to make sure everything's even. I'm so impressed by this already. It's crazy. Because like I said, normally hydrating foundations are less coverage. Not this. Okay, so for the concealer, we're going to use the Conceal and Hydrate. 
concealer and I got this in C7. And you're going for the big doe foot applicator. This one might be a little light. That's okay. The other, the shades above this looked a little too dark. I feel like it was either like super light or automatically. Okay, so we're going to blend this in. Okay, so I don't really like the concealer shade. I may have to go back and get another shade. This is a little bit too light. This is too light, but that's okay. We're just gonna have a super bright under eye today. <laughs> this is a medium full coverage. I definitely think this is more medium for sure. So I'm gonna add just a little bit right here. Oh, I like it to have a full coverage like right on the inside. And then I'm going to go in with the other side of the sponge and just blend everything in together so it doesn't look like a straight line. Okay, so I want to go and read the claims on both of these. Okay, so it says it offers a long day radiance and glow without settling into fine lines or clinging to dry patches. And then medium to full coverage. So yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's not... Definitely full coverage for the foundation, but the concealer is more medium. But it says medium to full coverage, so if you build it, you can get the full. The foundation is sinking to my fine lines on my forehead. I'm starting to get those lines from just like moving my forehead, but in my expressions. But all you gotta do is blend it out. I just have to set it and then it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm going to set with my Kylie Translucent Powder. I used this the other day also. And it looked really good. I've been having really good luck with Kylie products lately. They just have been really working on my skin. And the brow products. Love the brow products. It just makes everything look so smooth, this powder. And just setting everywhere I put the concealer and right here on my forehead just because I crease super easily my little forehead lines you just can't tell on camera all right so I'm going to take a close-up look after I grab a sip of coffee I'm filming super early so, having some coffee this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna take a closer look. Yes, everything looks super duper smooth. Like I said, the concealer, I'm gonna go and get a different shade. It's just too light and too pink too. I don't like it to be pink. But yeah, everything is looking super duper smooth. All right, I'm going to go and finish off my makeup and I'll be right back. So this looks so just, just natural, well, full coverage, but in the most natural way po like possible. I don't think it looks cakey, heavy. It just looks really good. One thing I can say is that it does fall into my fine lines on my forehead which I don't love but that's okay the rest of my makeup looks really good everything blended beautifully on top no patchiness 
I think so far it looks good. The only thing I could say that I don't like about it is that it's falling into my fine line or in my forehead. Other than that, I really love the way it looks. I love the coverage it brings because I'm more of a full coverage kind of girl. If I'm going to wear makeup, I just prefer to have something with a little more coverage. So the foundation so far looks really good. The concealer as well looks really good. It does make my fine lines a little bit, a little bit more noticeable. So we're going to see how this wears just because it's a hydrating concealer and it may crease throughout the day. But we'll see. We'll see. It may not. Could surprise me and be great and last all day. So yeah, I am finished with makeup at 8.24 a.m. So we're going to wear this all day. This is going to be like a super long wear test. I'm going to wear this until I'm about to go to bed at night. So I'm going to try to get a video in the middle of the day so I can try to update you guys and then we'll check in again at night. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, so we have reached about one o'clock and super bright in this window. But in my nose, I am starting to get oily already. In the inside right here, it's starting to get a little bit cakey looking. But the rest of my face looks good. It is whole. So yeah, that's about it for now. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, so we are back with our final check-in. Foundation and concealer, I think. I'm pretty oily, as you guys can see. My nose, it is totally off and caked up all in here. Yeah, my forehead is super shiny. Everything is super, super shiny. I have been wearing this foundation for almost 12 hours. It's been a super long day and it was so hot out. So yeah, everything off my chin is gone right here. Is totally gone. I don't think for me, because I do have combination skin, this is not going to be like a super duper long wear foundation. This is going to be one of those foundations where I'm only going to wear it for a few hours and then that's it. But the coverage is super great for a hydrating type of foundation. Like I said, normally they're more liquidy and not quite as full coverage, but this is definitely full coverage. I definitely think for all you dry skin people, you're going to love this foundation because it is so hydrating and it's not going to grab onto any dry patches at all. But for my combination skin, this did not last. It's only going to be a few hours. So for this foundation, I'm probably... For this foundation, I'll probably give it maybe like a C plus. Yeah, a C plus. I don't like that mid, like I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So, sorry if you guys hear that banging. My neighbor is, I don't know what he is doing out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.